right welcome to my video you guys where i'm going to just pretty much give you some guidance that you are needing to hear the most at this time okay i have no idea what is going to come up but this message is definitely timeless so at the time that you view this message it is necessary for you to hear at this time okay um so let's go ahead and just pull a few cards and then I will look into the situation and see what is going on here. All right. Um, let's do right here. Okay. <clears throat> so we have overall energy here. The Ten of Pentacles. So this is having to do definitely with, it could be just a combination of everything, home, family, career, overall success, abundance, okay, wealth, okay, we have the Six of Wands here. It's about success, success and achievement here. Um, what I'm seeing with this Three of Pentacles is that it's going to take some I'm gonna say cooperation, collaboration, okay? It could be, you know, a, a partnership, a business partnership, or a coworker, or someone that you're working with, could be a teacher, someone who you might have taken under your wing. Um, <clears throat> could be a friend, could be someone that you are, you know, developing. Whatever the situation is, for you, it's going to be different for everyone. I feel like spirit is wanting you guys to know that there needs to be a balance between being open and receptive and setting boundaries. Okay, I feel like this is a collaboration that is necessary, but it is going to require using discernment is what I'm getting here. I feel like, oh, we have a card under here. I didn't even see this. I feel like a lot of the collective gets sort of stuck and trapped in their own illusion, I wanna say. This is kind of like self-sabotaging energy that I'm picking up here, having to do with maybe emotional immaturity, um, maybe just being petty, maybe just being, you know, kind of childish and immature, not wanting to change, not wanting to budge, just sort of almost just keeping yourself trapped here, all right? But what I'm seeing with this page of pentacles here, here is that this is pretty much the lesson that is important right now in learning and understanding how to um, deal with this sort of immature petty behavior and how to remove the blockages so that you are able to go towards your success in overall life okay so it really is about what you envision what you want to create so the message i'm getting here is that some of you may actually be blocking your own manifestations that you sort of conjured up okay um, it might not look like what you expected it to look like on the outside, but it could be a process that you are needing to work through, okay? As we have the Three of Pentacles here, it's going to take um, working with other people in order to see this situation through here, okay? So you just have to really understand that you create your own vision and it's about harmony, it's about connectedness, it's about um, being receptive as well, okay? Those are some of the words that are sticking out to me here and I'm just really drawn to um, just the paint, all the different colors, okay? All the different flavors, all the different um, just everything coming together to blend and just sort of form this beautiful overall picture. So this gives me the energy that, you know, this is like a divine plan, not just like a divine plan, but I just feel it's like divinely orchestrated to benefit like the greater good of all. That's the energy that I'm getting here with the way all the different colors blend and just overall creates like the bigger picture. So there's a bigger picture here is what I'm getting from this, okay? So let's talk a little bit about the blockages. We have versatility, okay? 
and take risk okay so again this brings me to this nine of wands energy a little bit where there needs to be a balance between um knowing when to let your guard down when to be open when to be flexible okay when to allow when to surrender and then knowing when something might be risky, when it's time to go ahead and take that leap of faith, when it's time to go ahead and take action, okay? There needs to sort of be a, ba a balance between these two energy here, energies here, okay? So, and I'm definitely getting both yin and yang energy here. With the versatility, this is more of being in flow, being in harmony, okay, with the universe. This is more feminine energy. And then we have take risk. This here requires you to be very courageous, very fearless, very um, dedicated, motivated, driven to just really tap into your willpower here, okay? So these are some of the things that I want to say the collective is struggling with at this time as it relates to how you are overall manifesting your Ten of Pentacles situation, okay? The happy family with the career, everything being in balance, everyone having everything that they need as far as the material world, okay? So there's a lot of, um, I want to say, spiritual things that are needing to sort of integrate here in order to have that uh, abundance and completion in the physical world here okay this is the overall energy we are all one okay i literally just saw this it says we're all one the connector all right so it's about everything and everybody sort of playing their role and taking their place in society in this reality in this dimension okay for existence as a whole and then we have the seeker here I get the energy here of seeking knowledge, seeking higher wisdom, okay? Ascending, being open to receive information, to receive downloads, okay? And I'm really drawn to the the teeth here, okay? Which makes me just sort of think about, um, you know, the mouth, which makes me think about the throat chakra, communication, speaking your truth. The throat chakra is also responsible for being open and receptive as well. So it's about self-expression. It's about receiving information, how you receive information as well. That plays a huge role in your overall perception of a situation. So it's really important to gain knowledge and gain wisdom about yourself first and foremost. Okay, self-awareness is key here. All right, everything comes down to... Just self-awareness, understanding your mind, understanding your heart, understanding when something, you know, is logic versus intuition versus ego versus desire, <laughs> all right? Knowing when something is yours, when a feeling, when a thought, when a belief is yours or when it's someone else's, okay? And learning how to kind of find that middle point between something you say versus something you do. It's like things kind of have to match up here, okay? Listen to your body. If your body reacts to a certain thought or belief, that means there's a misalignment in maybe what you're doing versus how you really feel or what you feel versus what you really think, okay? So these are things that you must pay attention to so that you really come into alignment and union with yourself and that will bring union, balance, and harmony in your relationships, which will translate to your overall victory.